All right, adventurers, welcome back to All Play. We're here with more of Hearthstone's newest expansion and single player mode, uh, the Boomsday Project Puzzle Lab. Uh, we're halfway done with the Secret Lab. We've only got two more to go. We finished Lethal and Mirror. Let's check out Board Clear. The best part of an intricate master plan is making it up as you go along. All right, so we're doing board clear. Remember, the goal for board clear is to empty the board completely. The enemy side and our side need to be empty. All right, once again, the goal for board clear is to clear the board completely of all minions. Let's get to work. You got quite the brain on you. Uh, could you report to the metric lab for jar sizing? No reason. All right. So this looks familiar. Uh, Dr. Boom's side of the board, he has seven copies of the Possessed Villager. It's a 1-1 that reads Death Rattle, summon a 1-1 Shadow Beast. So all these die, and they're going to be replaced by 1-1s. Cool. Uh, Boom has no cards in hand and no cards in this deck. Our side of the board, we have the Jelbin's Coil. It's a 1-2 mech that reads, after you play a spell, deal one damage to a random enemy minion. That should be fun. Uh, we're priests, so our hero ability is restored to health. And our hand, from left to right, we have four copies of Holy Smite, deal two damage. Then we have Test Subject. Hang on one second. Yeah, random enemy menu. Okay, we have Test Subject, a 0-2 that reads Death Rattle, return... What's the problem? If that fails, I resort to bribery. Death Rattle, return any spells you cast on this minion to your hands. Then we have Topsy Turvy. Uh, it reads... Oh... Oh, I see something fun to do. Topsy Turvy, uh, swap a minion's attack and health. Then we have Radiant Elemental, a 2 3 that reads your spells cost one less. Oh, we have two copies of that. And we have Shadow Word Pain, destroy a minion with three or less attack. And Vivid Nightmare, choose a friendly minion, summon a copy of it with one health remaining. Okay. We have no cards in our deck either. I said I saw something fun that I realized immediately. Uh, test subject is 0-2. Um, and then Topsy Turvy will swap their attack and health. It's free, which means when this dies... Every solution has a problem. When this dies, we'll get this card right back. And casting it will deal one damage to one of these randomly. But we only get one test subject. So never mind. Never mind, never mind, never mind. Okay. Um... Let's see. If we play both Radiant Elementals, the only card that costs us anything is Vivid Nightmare. So let's start there. Oh, and then Test Subject, of course. Let's play that clown, too. So now... Now if I cast this on the Test Subject... We're going to get a copy. When this dies, we'll get Vivid Nightmare back. Do I just want to shoot? So it's going to deal one damage randomly, which is what we want. Do I just want to shoot him over and over? Is that what I want to do? Oh, what if we made a copy of that instead? Oh well, let's let's try this. Cause if we swap this, okay. So now we do vivid nightmare here instead, right? Let's do that better. Okay. And now topsy turvy. Do I want to do this? Not kill something, not make anything stupid. And now these boys for free.
if we shoot him, we're going to get back. What is that I put on him? Damn, I forgot what I played all the. Was it Topsy Turvy? I think it was Topsy Turvy. No, it was the 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 one that it was it was the this. Where is it? It was this vivid nightmare. Okay, so if I shoot him, I'm gonna get a holy smite and a vivid nightmare back, right? And then we're gonna kill stuff. Yeah. Okay, so what does the nightmare go on this time? Actually, I don't think we need to make any more copies of anything. We've got two here and four spells that can kill for free. So that's eight. We can deal. We can get rid of eight of them. There's only seven left. So I don't think I need to make a copy of anything. If I'm not making a copy of anything, I can get rid of one of the radiant elementals. Because this will cost two, but these will still be free. So let's do that. So that's one. Two. Okay, so we've got five here left. Five. So one. If I do this. If I do one, this dies, two, three. So I'll still have two over here. There's one, two, three. Yeah, two left. So what I need to do, I need to start shooting these down. If I go here, if I go here, one of these dies. I go here, this dies, and I use that there. Okay. All right. A little bit of math there, but the board is clear. Do. <clears throat> okay. This puppy is almost as unstable as me. Almost. Okay, boom side of the board. He has three copies of Mech Janeer Thermaplug. It is a 9-7 that reads, whenever an enemy minion dies, summon a leper gnome. Leper gnome is a minion. It's I think it's I think they changed it to a 1-1 one, one now. And when it dies, it deals direct damage to me. I think I think I get the stats mixed up because they changed it. Anyways, he's got three copies of the thermoplug. We have three copies. Oh, his hands empty, his deck's empty. We have three copies of the Cave Hydra, a 2-4 that reads also damages the minions next to whomever this attacks. The 2-4 beast. Then we have three copies of the novice engineer. A 1-1 one, one with battle cry, draw a card. Oh, did I stump you? We are hunters. Bum, 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 bum. Um, and our hero power is deal two damage to the enemy hero. Our deck's empty in our hand. From left to right, we have the coin. Game one mana crystal this turn only. We have three copies of Wind Fury. Give a minion Wind Fury. And then we have the Tundra Rhino, a 2 5 with your beasts have charge. That's going to affect uh, the Cave Hydras. They'll be able to attack this turn. So realistically, we could play everything in our hand or we could use our hero ability, which doesn't help us. Uh, so we could do everything. We could do everything we want to right now. Uh, I think clearly we need to play this so we can get these hydras going. Now, if we attack this one, it's going to deal two damage to all of them. But he's going to die and he's going to get three leper gnomes. But... Pretty sure I don't have any other other options. There we go. It is a one one that deals two damage. Okay. Okay. So if we attack again, 
we're going to kill some gnomes. And that's not a good thing right now. Unless we attack with one of these clowns. Oh, if you're sure. Alright, so the board's full. He's not going to make more uh, gnomes. Again, if we attack here, how about we do this? Oh, if you're sure. Okay, so we can get rid of these with Wind Fury, right? If we put Wind Fury on the Cave Hydra, we're gonna start. We're gonna start taking hits. We're gonna start t losing points. Like I gotta attack this one. It's gonna kill this gnome, this gnome, and deal two damage here. But it's not gonna take damage. It's it's gonna take the one from the gnome, but not nine points here. Actually, I think it'd be better if I attack this one, wouldn't it? If I take this one, this dies. This, these both take two, but this doesn't take a bunch of points. And I only take two. I got to be careful. I think the trick here is I got to not create too many gnomes. If I create too many gnomes, I'm going to have, I'm going to lose. Let's try that. If I take this one, this is the best one to hit, right? Okay, so now if I attack this one, these three die. I don't think... I don't think he gets gnomes off these dying at the same time as this. Hearthstone is so inconsistent with death triggers. It's crazy. Yeah. Oh, okay. That's the one dying. Yeah, he didn't get the two, the two over there. Okay, good. Good. There's only so many gnomes he can have now. Perfect. <laughs> Perfect. Okay, if we do that again, I guess I want to kill this one here, right? Is it this one I want to hit? No, I don't. It's this one that I want to hit because I want to deal damage to this without, without taking nine points. And then I want to hit this one. Actually, no, I want this to die too. I want to hit this one. Okay. So you attack here and you attack here and that's it. You attack here, you attack here and that's it. Ooh, yeah. Oh, sure. Yep. It looks like there's room for error. There's room for you to mess up once there. That's what that looks like. Oh, boy. Okay. Boom side of the field from left to right. He has five copies of the Karen blood hoof, a four five with death rattles. Summon a four five Bane blood hoof. Uh, it doesn't do anything. It's just a four five. Uh, so he has five copies of that. Really he has 10 minions to get rid of. Uh, no cards in Boom's hand. Nothing in this deck. Our side of the board, we have four copies of the test subject, a zero four that reads death rattle. Return any spells you cast on this minion to your hand. We're mage, so our hero ability is fire blast, uh, deal one damage. We have no cards in our deck, but we have a full hand. From left to right, battery pack, refresh all your mana crystals. Enter fire, change a minion's attack to be equal to its health. Cobalt Geomancer, a 2-2 with spell damage one. Radiant Elemental, a 2-3 Elemental. A 2-3 Elemental with your spells cost one less. A spirit Lash. Uh, life steal deal one damage to all minions. Now I wonder if this counts for for your boy. Uh, confuse swap the attack and health of all minions. Divine spirit double a minion's health. Shadow word pain deal. Um, I'm sorry, destroy a minion with three or less attack. Sergeant Sally, a uh, one one with death rattle deal damage equal to this minion's attack to all enemy minions. And vivid nightmare. 
choose a friendly minion, summon a copy of it with one health remaining. I don't know if you guys have caught on yet, but whenever Radiant Elemental's in your hand, you better play that first. <laughs> you better play that first. Okay. Let me see. Trying to figure out. Trying to find something. I'm trying to figure out what I want. <clears throat> what I want Vivid Nightmare to hit. Who do I want Vivid Nightmare to hit? It's good to plan ahead. Me, I plan behind. Results are guaranteed. Because I'm thinking, I'm thinking casting Vivid Nightmare on this after it's been hit with something will give me a copy with that. But I just don't know. I I just don't know. What if, let me try something. Vivid Nightmare here on this guy. Now, if I kill him immediately. Yes, it worked. Vivid Nightmares on this and this. So I'm going to get two Vivid Nightmares back. Okay, so if I hit him with this, I have a Vivid Nightmare in hand and I have one on deck. Right? Yes. It made a copy of, of this one exactly, including what it had on him. Okay, got it. I also got back Shadow Word Pain. So if I hit him again with Vivid Nightmare. Get me out of here. <laughs> okay. So if I kill him again. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Uh, let's see. I need. I'm. I'm low on mana. Let's. Let's get a. a, a an elemental boy. Let's get an elemental boy. I want to drop this just yet. Shadow Word Pain is free. Shadow Word Pain is free, so I can start clearing you boys out. But I want you to stay alive, don't I? I want you to hold everything, don't I? Yeah, let's do that. Here you go. Here you go. Here you go. Okay, I can't do too much now. Is it is it time? Are we here? Are we here? I think we're here. If I play this, then I could play the Geomancer. I could play Sergeant Sally. I can play Vivid Nightmare again. Let's do it. Um, let's stock the rest of these spells up. Let's stock the rest of these spells up. You, you, you seem like a good friend. Now, if I copy it, this thing's going to be ugly. Get me here. My hand's going to be ugly when this dies. And then you're dead again. Oh, you've got everything on you. You're dead again for real. So and do I want to drop? Is that what I'm doing? Divine spiriting up? Oh, I guess that doesn't do anything, does it? Huh? I guess that doesn't do anything, does it, huh? Okay. You're going to make... Where'd it go? Spirit Lash deal two damage to everybody. Inner Fire. And Sally? After a divine spirit. Swim. 
She's got to hold two points. Okay, so this here is going to deal two. It's only going to affect my side. But... Okay, I think I seize it. I think I seize it. Let's get this up. Let's get this up by making copies of the Geomancer. So now this is going to deal four here. It's going to kill Sally. She's going to kill these. But we're going to have four fives to deal with. Is it time for you to die? I get, what, five cards back? I think it's time for you to die. Are we doubling her? With Divine Spirit again? Yes, that's what we're doing. That's what we're doing. If we Divine Spirit her, she's going to be a 1-4. Then we play Confuse to switch everybody's attack and health. She's going to be a 4-1. And these are going to be five fours, okay? Then I drop Spirit Lash. That's going to kill everything. That's going to kill everything. These are going to come out. Then Sally's going to do her thing. Wait. 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 No. That's not it. That's not it. Concentrate. Am I distracting you? Here's what we're going to do. I almost messed it up. Here's what we're going to do instead. We're going to play Divine Spirit on Sally. Now if I drop Confuse. Then I play Vivid Nightmare on Sally. We basically have another Sally. So when both die, they're going to wipe everything out. Yeah. Now we play uh now we play Spirit Lash. Deal four damage to all minions. It's gonna kill that, kill this. These are gonna create things and Sally's gonna go off. <laughs> makes makes all the things. And Sally go off. So now we can hit them with enough. Otherwise, we would have been one point short. Oh, boy. The way I programmed this mech suit to walk was staggering. You know? Is that, is that how, how you know is written? Okay. All right, Dr. Boom's side of the board from left to right. He has a Stormwind champion. 6-6, uh, six, six, that reads your other minions have plus one, plus one. Tyrantus, a 12-12 beast that can't be the target or can't be targeted by spells or hero powers. Uh, but he has plus one, plus one, so he's a 13-13. Giant Macedon, a 6-10 beast with taunt, so it's a 7-11. Ultrasaur, a 7-14 beast, but it it's a 8-15. Sea Giant, an 8 8 that costs one less for each other minion on the battlefield, so it's a 9 9. Ah, yeah, sure. Take your time. This is a delicate operation. We have Kuhn, the Forgotten King, a 7 7 with choose one, gain 10 armor, or refresh your mana crystals, but he's an 8 8. Then we have a Jade Golem, a 13 13, but he gets plus one plus one, so he's a 14 14. Our side of the board, we have the Sorcerer's Apprentice, a 3 2 that says your spells cost one less. We have the Wild Pyromancer, a 3-2 that reads, after you cast a spell, deal one damage to all minions. Uh, we have another Sorcerer's Apprentice. We have Fearsome Doom Guard, a 6-8 Demon. And we have Summoning Portal, a 0-4 that reads, your minions cost two less, but not less than one. We're a Warlock, so our hero ability is draw a card and take two damage. There's nothing in our deck, nothing in Boom's deck. Our hand from left to right, we have the Arcane Anomaly, a 2-1 Elemental that reads, whenever you cast a spell... Remember. Every solution has a problem. Whenever you cast a spell, give this minion plus one health. Defile. De oh, God. That's why the numbers are all staggered. What a clown. 
He told us that. Uh, deal one damage to all minions. If any die, cast us again. Demon fire, give two damage. Deal two damage to a minion. If it's a friendly demon, deal plus two plus two instead. We have two copies of demon fire. We have blood fury. Give a minion plus three attack. If it's a demon, also give it plus three health. We have two copies of Blood Fury. We have Rat Catcher, a 2-2 with Rush and Battle Cry. Destroy a friendly minion and gain attack, gain its attack and health. We have Void Terror, a 3-3 demon with Battle Cry. Destroy both adjacent minions and gain their attack and health. And Moat Lurker, a 3-3 with Battle Cry. Destroy a minion and Death Rattle resummon it. Good to plan ahead. Me, I plan behind. Results are guaranteed. All right, I'm almost sure we're playing Defile last. I'm almost sure. We need to get these numbers together. Remember, when we play Defile, we want everything to be, everything to have health. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, all the way up to however high we need to get it. Uh, so then it'll cast itself over and over. Okay. So we have two on our side. We need to get those down to one. We don't have a three. We have a four. We don't have a five. We have a six. But when this dies, this is going to bring the numbers down. So if this is a six and it dies, this is a seven, eight. We don't have a nine. We have a ten. We don't have an eleven. We have a twelve. Thirteen, fourteen. All right, there are plenty of numbers missing, so we're going to have to build things up. Clearly, our hand is about building things up. Let's see. You're all the way at the top. What if we bring you down a little bit? If we bring down the last one in the chain, things are a little bit better. This will be our 10, which is what we need between 7, 8, and uh, 7, and 8. This would be this would be our 9, rather. Uh, so let's shoot you for 4. I know I saw. Hmm. I know I saw. both of these though i don't want both of them do i if i bring you down two you'd be the 13 Ooh, did I, stump you? I bring you down you'll be in the same spot i think that's okay i think that's okay there we go so we have ones here what if i play moat lurker because this clown's gonna mess things up i was completely not paying attention to him. What if I play Moat Lurker on him? He's going to eat him, but he'll come back later. He's going to eat him, but he'll come back later. So we have ones. We need a two. We have three. We need two, four, six. We need two, four, six. Two, four, six, nine, eleven is what we need. <laughs> okay. If I play you, if I play you, because you can get bigger. So every time I cast a spell, you'll get bigger. I said I need two, four, six, eight, eleven. I'm sorry, two, four, six. Two four six nine eleven. Two four six nine eleven. I can make eleven by hitting this clown. Two four six nine. There's two, so we need four and six. We need four and six. One of these two. Oh, we still need nine, two, don't we? Two, f uh, we need four, six, nine. Can I make nine with either of you? I don't think I can make nine with Void Terror. I can make nine with Rat Catcher. If he eats the Doom Guard. This 
So we still need four and six. We need four and six. I can make six. You're a demon, right? Ooh, you're not a demon. Ooh, you're not a demon. Did I just eat my only demon? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> it'll be okay. I think it'll be okay. I can make six with Void Terror, but I have to put it specifically to the right of the Moat Lurker, and that's going to bring back our boy. Yes, that's going to bring back our boy. I can play Defile. That's going to put him at four. I have every number. Oh, I don't have two. I don't have two. I will have two, though. I will once I play the file with with what's his face back pyromancer. So I have every number. I'll have every number. Yeah. Oh shoot! I'm missing a four, aren't I? Actually, I don't think I need four, do I? One, two, three. This is gonna deal damage to that, and then pyromancer. It's going to bring all those down. Six, seven, eight, eight, nine, ten, eleven. I did it. Yep, 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 yeah! <laughs> Oh, man, it's crazy. All right. Another part of the lab down. We, we have one left. We have survival left. I'm kind of scared. Survival was rough. All right, guys, that's good to do it for this episode. If you enjoyed it and would love to see more, then all you have to do is hit that red button below this video. That's that subscribe button. And turn on notifications. That way you get notified whenever a video gets posted to the channel or whenever we do something special like Dr. Boom's Boom's Day Project Puzzle Lab. Thank you guys for checking this out, and I'll catch you later with more here on Altplay.